7. Must watch movies for web developers. These are the ones that I've personally enjoyed watching and they're also the ones that I would recommend other people to check out if they wanted to know a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes in terms of coding and programming. First on our list is Jobs, a movie about Steve Jobs, who, as we know, created Apple. Now, this is my favorite movie and first on our list simply because I'm a little bit of an Apple fan, but there are other reasons too. The main reason is that it's a biography showing how someone in technology used their own mind, their own skills to build something from their own home, from their own garage, into a fully fledged business that's scalable and is one of the biggest in the world now. And it's great inspiration because it shows that whole journey and it shows that it wasn't easy. There were struggles and problems along the way and there were hurdles that couldn't be overcome as well as could. From a developer point of view, there's a lot of things I can empathize here. When I watch Steve, because I've created my own startup, I've tried to create my own websites and apps and stuff like that in the past, and I know that sometimes it's just not that easy. Steve gives me the motivation to see that he put in determination and inspiration into everything he did. He never gave up, and he always put his whole heart into it. And these are lessons that I take away from that. It also means that when I'm watching, I noticed that he didn't do it alone. He had a team behind him. He had his friend Steve Wozniak, which was a brilliant genius as well. These are all lessons to be learned when you're trying to do things, because sometimes I tried to do them on my own. And it just didn't work out. And having a team and knowing that you have to put in that extra mile and really care about what you do are the lessons I took away from this movie. Number two on our list is Silicon Valley. This is a show that I've really enjoyed simply because it pokes a lot of humor at us programmers and techies and the whole startup scene in general. As you can imagine, it's a satire on the traditional Silicon Valley. There is a character in there called Richard Hendricks, and he's a general techie with no real social skills. He's thrown into situations like trying to get an investor or creating his company from his backyard or garage or somewhere where he's renting and just trying to get it off the ground, trying to turn it into a real business. From a developer point of view, I've really enjoyed some of the jokes on, for example, how cloud computing isn't really in the cloud or how, for example, we as techies are always pushed to do things as soon as possible when sometimes that's just not realistic and sometimes just how making one small change can blow up the whole system. I swear I know character types just like Guilfoyle or Richard Hendricks in real life and it's always fun to see them jump into all these different situations. I probably didn't learn a single thing watching this TV show but I enjoyed every second of watching it. Next up is number three, The Social Network. This is a movie released back in 2010 and it's one that talks about how Facebook was created by Mark Zuckerberg and this is quite the story. It is a bit of a movie that really gives you the nitty gritty of what it's like to create a startup. It talks about how Mark Zuckerberg started off at university with his idea for Facebook and how he went on to create it. But as we know, nothing in life is so simple. So while this story talks about how Facebook grew from a single university to all over the world, it also talks about some of the struggles Mark had to go through. Things like people trying to sue him for ownership of his company, as well as trying to get legal involved to make sure that you're protected when you're creating a business so big. I enjoyed this because it gave a more gritty version of what it's like to make a startup without as many jokes as Silicon Valley might have provided. As a developer, this basically taught me that whenever you're making something successful, you have to make sure that you protect yourself because you never know who's going to come and try and get you. Number four on our list is The Social Dilemma. This is a newer movie released just this year in 2020, and it talks about the social impact that social media is having on us as a society. And this is an actual scary thing to really be concerned about because it wasn't until watching this that I realized that there are lots of factors at play, things that try to grab our attention and keep it for as long as possible. So whether you're on TikTok or Instagram or even on Facebook, these platforms are trying to make sure that you're staying on there as long as possible. And this means that you have less attention for regular life. As your attention decreases, so does your threshold for being able to get the fastest and best and most enjoyable engaging content as soon as possible. All of these platforms have little algorithms at play to try and understand who you are as a person and try to tap into that to make sure that they're feeding you the best content to keep you on those platforms. And this has an effect on us as a society. 
If you really want to understand this, then I would recommend watching this. Whether I'm a developer or a designer or anyone in general, this was really eye-opening. And as a developer, this makes me realize there are tricks to making sure that things are engaging. And while sometimes it's great to implement everything you can to be able to do so, sometimes it's not in the best interest of society. Next on our list is number five, Mr. Robot. This is a TV series that has a bit of drama and thriller in it. It's about a guy called Elliot who's technically working in cybersecurity, but he's also a bit of a hacker. And what I enjoyed about this is because it gives a personal view at the person rather than the technology. A lot of us are working in front of computers a long time and it means that sometimes we might have issues like depression or anxiety. And this is brought to light, especially in this show. There are other cool aspects to this show as well. Things like whether corporations, businesses and military are using technology for the right purposes and whether we as a society need to do something to change that or at least make our voice heard. And these are real world situations. You hear things like Elon Musk talking about the dangers of AI and sometimes we just don't listen to that kind of stuff. As a developer, I did enjoy the fact that I understood some of the tropes here that were going on. Things like IP addresses and networking and security. But from a general point of view, this is something more to enjoy as a drama rather than something to learn about technology or even something as comedy. Number six on our list is the IT crowd. This is a personal favorite of mine and I would almost recommend it to anyone in the tech industry, whether you're a developer or you're working in IT. Now, this is really enjoyable because it's a comedy series about technology and some of the misfortunes that always happen when you're working with it. Things like, have you turned it on and off again? Or is it plugged in? Or have you tried checking the firewall and is the IP address plugged into the mainframe? Little tropes like that you'll see here played out into full sketches. And this is why I enjoy it so much. If you want a quick laugh, there are great episodes here and I think there's about four seasons to check out on. There's lots of little situations about what it's like working in an office with technology and working with general people who just don't understand it. And this is why I love it so much. So whether you're a developer or a designer, definitely check this one out. And last on our list is number seven, Black Mirror. I didn't realize I would enjoy this show until I started watching it because it is a little bit of a horror. There are some scary aspects to this mixed with technology. The TV show for this is on Netflix and you can check it out. It basically covers what happens when technology gets out of control and starts controlling us as a society. There's lots of different aspects to this. Things like killer robots or when augmented reality becomes more realistic than real reality. All of these are things that we need to consider as we grow in our capability in technology. And things like maybe tracking every single person on camera and checking what they're doing and giving them a rating that we can track and visually see whenever we are going out to date them or all these crazy things that are slowly actually being implemented in the real world and things that we need to look out for. It's a scary glimpse into our future. And this is why I like this show because it really pushes the boundary of what's possible in that future. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Are there any that I missed and that you watch or would recommend to others, especially as a developer? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe because like 90% of you haven't, which is really strange. I'm not sure why, but do it.